hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, uh, I think we could play a Bubble Goop Swamp. I'm not quite sure where we left off at. I think we had, I may, I don't know. I've done a lot of LPs in this game, and usually at the Bubble Goop Swamp, I have a whole episode of Grunty's Lair. But I think I managed to get it all done in like 10 minutes at a time, so, uh. Well, actually, I always get it all done in 10 minutes. So. That's the whole reason that I, uh. This fucking. I hope you guys know this fucking dazzle. Not the, not the dazzle, dazzle's fine. It's the, uh, the cheaper cables that need to be placed. Note the fact that they're cheaper cables. No. No. Also, I am butt freaking tired today, but. It's I'm like, oh, this is LPing day. It's LPing. I'm butt fucking tired, but I'm just gonna LP anyways. Because, uh, I don't know, I was just like up all night, and then I just wake up at like 7, and I'm like, yeah, good enough. Now, uh, where are we gonna go here? What level do I wanna go to? Uh, let's go to, let's go to Freezy's Peak. Also, this thing feels sticky today. I don't know why. The joystick just feels sticky. Maybe because I've been playing, like, like, N64 was one of the first systems to implement the joystick. And, you know, beforehand, like, 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 before I, like, obviously, between episodes, I've been playing a lot of, like, Xbox and shit. So this controller feels, like, really primitive to me. The Peak's got another new move waiting for you. To if, if you can find it. Let's get something special about that. That was just brilliant, the way he falls down that thing. I want to make a point saying that. I just love the pose he has. It's hilarious. That's the only way you can get him to actually, like, lay down. Like, he's sliding down a hill without the hill being that steep. Oh, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. If Bog means poop, never mind. This is one of my, this is actually one of my least favorite levels, it always has been. Like, I never did like, like everyone says water levels the worst things in games. I always thought snow levels were the worst things in games. Like, I understand why you need a snow level. Like, even fucking Halo has snow levels, okay? But, it's just it's fucking pain in the ass to do these levels. It's you slip and you slide and usually the water hurts ya, or kills you, even. Same with fire levels, though. You're getting burnt all the time, and the, water, the lava kills you. I'm a presence, give me to someone sad. But, no, snow levels, the water sometimes kills you, but it's usually the fact that you're sliding with all the ice and stuff. Like, even on snow, I don't understand that. Normally, like, Assassin's Creed 3, the fucking snow doesn't actually make you slide. If anything, it makes you stuck to the ground a little bit more. Because he has to, like, lift his feet out of it. This is a much more accurate representation. You run a lot more slow. Which is also a pain in the ass. Therefore, snow is one of my worst enemies in games. Like, water isn't even that bad. I don't usually drown when I, I don't, like, usually drown in games. I usually, like, slide off edges and shit in these kind of levels. Which is why I have to be really careful this episode. To so not slide off an edge. Fuck it. I almost never use eggs to fight, and that was just... Wow. I didn't even know. I, I, you know, I honestly, since there's such a weak attack, and they're so hard to aim on this system, I never got the hang of using them. And I just used them all of a sudden, and I was like, oh man, that was awesome. It's like fucking, um, Banjo Kazooie Modern Warfare 7. I don't know why 7, just 7 was good. 7's a good number. Photoshoppers, you now have a job. Banjo Kazooie Modern Warfare 7. Well, message me when your job is complete. Uh, that's like a, uh, call it a mission and make it like Team Fortress. The mission is failed. Uh, oh, what are you doing, Gar camera? It, this camera at this level is awful. I don't know why. I'm gonna have to come back up here again if I use the. That. I always have a habit of using the fucking sled. I'm ready. But, uh, oh, this is hard with the 64 controller. No. Ugh. On the Xbox version, this is the easiest jiggy to get, but this version is like a pain in the ass. Which is yeah, another reason I regret not putting the Xbox version. Uh, LP form. 
Maybe later I'll do like a differences guide or something, but I'm not gonna do an LP of it. Brr, it's cold. Nice to meet you, one backpack for me too. Oh fudge, I fell up. I fell up. I fell up. I fell up the hill. I'm just gonna do this real quick. And you'll also get a mumble token alongside the jiggy you get for doing this. Yes, you literally just get a jiggy for walking into that thing. Ooh. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. He's supposed to walk over and grab the sled, but I guess the game glitched because the sled didn't appear. That's never happened before. You gotta remember, Nintendo 64 is an old system. Something disappears and glitches in a cutscene, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's only a cutscene. This is pointless. Hello again, buddy. I'm waiting for someone to race me. And blah 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 blah. I can't do this right now. Cause I'm a fat ass. Cause I'm a fat ass. I can't get in there right now. That is a bad excuse. So much. This level, this problem with this level is this level, um, unlike most levels in this game, like most levels, if you haven't noticed yet, like Clanker's Cavern and Christian Trove Cove and all them, they have some kind of, like, order you can do it in. Like, some kind of, uh, line you can do everything in. This level, uh, it's just, it's like a big circle, and it's, everything's just kind of placed in the middle. And, uh, like, no, seriously, look at the map of this level, it's a big circle. And, uh,. Where the Twinklies protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across the archery. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. I'm just gonna make a point saying Twinklies is the greatest fucking name for a character. There's a, there's a dinosaur thingy. A Twinkly Muncher. Or a I don't care if he's about it. Also, this controller is shitty today. Oh, it's gonna be one of them days. Shit. Crap, I killed them at the wrong time, and now they're like popping out just over the thing, please. Good enough. Just the ground pound does work, I didn't know that actually worked in these guys. This is actually one of the easier parts of the game, but you don't get anything for it. Like, yet. Yeah, you'll get something later, it's kind of unlocks the ability to get a jiggy. And that should be enough, so I'm not going to worry about him anymore. Enjoy your swing, please. And that's it. Whew. That was close. But we made it. But we made it. Now switch us on. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ice cube. One of the many things you never think you'll say in your life. Oh shit! Ice cube, don't do that. What am I doing? I just ran right past the freaking jiggy. Or that really the jiggy. Oh, I can't do it yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Let us uh, get the uh, bottles moved from this level before we do that, so that it's uh, so it's possible. That's that's a good excuse. So it's possible. Speak to me, bottles. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell us more. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. And blah 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 blah, you learned all the moves in the Breezy Beat. Good. Um. Let's go ahead and some notes here. Some sort of portions. Don't, don't, you fucking. Don't, don't do it. Don't eat my face. Oh, I'm not doing it. It's about to be the same. I'm starting to try to get the move again. And also, that feather pad would not do me any good either. Unless I go and press the switch. The switch. The switch. Uh, uh, some eggs at it. For some reason, there's multiple eggs to push a button. Uh, three. 
Level two. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry. Okay, so basically you're timed. You gotta fly through the, the star on top of the tree multiple times. And I think it's three. I'm not sure. Maybe two. Maybe even four. Who knows? But anyways, um, yes. And this level, people. This level. Like I said earlier, I, this, this back then you, you can make a, you, you've always been allowed to make a snow level. There was no rules against that. But back in the day, there was no rule about making a Christmas themed level. I think nowadays it's like banned. It's fucking like everything's offensive nowadays. Oh, I'm glitched. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm fucking glitched. That's that's fine. That's fine. And there we have it. And considering the ice broke, I'm pretty sure there's no timer to get. If there's not a timer. This one. This one is one of the ones I never actually got when I first played this game. I didn't actually know about this one. It was this one and the one where you can uh, shoot the uh, the uh, dudes, the snowman, which I will also do real quick. Maybe after this next part here. I'm not exactly in the mood to fight the hardest enemies in the game right now. I'm just gonna fly down to the snow. I got hurt anyways. He even made the sound of success, like he just like didn't get hurt or anything. Oh, what was it? Hey, gumbo, gumbo. Sweet. Sweet. What we got here. Also, the termites have returned in this level. This is like the only time in the game, besides like Grunty's lair enemies, that uh, actually return to the level. Like, like normally the like the termites would only be in Mumbo's Mountain. But then again, these guys are only in like a little bonus area. They're not anything important. Actually, I think the uh, those like those dragonfly things that we saw in Bubblegum Swamp they appear in quite a few levels in this game. I know multiple levels, and it's also the uh, the beehive things. Yeah, obviously. And I think the bull appears later. I don't think the beehive counts as an enemy, though. I mean, it is something you can kill and get health with, but it doesn't really attack you, so it's not really an enemy. Let's uh, go hunt down them snow. Yeah, and the snowmen return again. The snowmen return again. It's just another. There's actually two. There's actually two snow levels in this game. But uh, one of them, this one's the Christmas-themed level. The other one is a winter-themed level. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, then keep out, then. Hell, I forget it says then for the last second. Stop. Also, these guys don't hurt you when you walk into them, which is a really nice little touch to have, but... Ah, uh, fucking water hurts you, so bounce off of them into the water. They'll do just as much damage as walking into an enemy. If not more. But yeah, basically for the next couple levels, water will hurt you. Um, the only level coming up will be one that's a desert themed level where the water won't hurt you, but there's very little water, so don't think it's like a, a gift from the heavens or anything. And then the haunted level doesn't have poisonous water or anything, but it has thorns that grow on things that hurt you. And then the desert level is quicksand that hurts you. Although it's kind of funny, because it's actually like a... Like, he actually jumps off it and makes a sound like as if it burned him. Which I don't understand at all. Now, if you're wondering why I'm focusing on killing all of these enemies, especially considering the fact that a lot of them are dropping useless shit, is uh, if you kill every single one of these guys, which is quite the challenge, which is you suck at this game, like I do. Or not suck at this game, but just suck at this one level. It's one part of the game, even. You know, I'm not really bad at this game, but when the flying and apparently simple platforming get involved... Well, basically, when certain things get involved in this game, I can't do as good. Ah, oh, the game is slowing down. I don't know why. That's weird. It's never happened to me. Oh, I didn't know that happened to me. But that's never happened to me before. It's weird. Like, I, I, think, I, I think it's happened to me before. I think N64 games have slowed down on me, but... Like, I never, I never thought that Nintendo had a, would have done that, made a system that isn't capable of its own games. 
But yeah, this never usually happens. I think it just has too much shit going on on the screen at once and just kind of slowed the game down. It's actually, if you like Game Shark, if you use a Game Shark and you hack the game enough, you can actually make it freeze every time you play it. Real quick. Point made. Hollow honeycombs are bigger than regular honeycombs. Not sure why. Let's see, you call that point invalid. What's this one got? Oh, I got gold feathers. Okay, then. Use this. Cool with that. Also, this is the only level where you don't actually have to leave a level as a transformation, but you do get one. If you haven't noticed, the Mumbo, Mumbo Hut. Like, sh straight out in the open. Oh, I fell in the water. Merry Christmas, everybody. Also, <laughs> Jiggy back here, I forgot. Four Jiggies. We've gotten half the other stuff in the game. In the game. No, yeah, actually, in the game, actually, with the point down. But we freaking. We only have four Jiggies. Which actually is halfway, never mind. It's ten, so four would be about, about halfway. Five is the true halfway. Just a little math for you first graders out there. Now you can go tell your mommies you know how to count. I think there's nothing up here, okay. That's actually a cool effect, I didn't get the chance to show it. But there's actually a gold feather back there, and because of the, the color change of this pink thing, it actually looks like a red feather, and you actually walk right by it. That one's obviously a gold feather. And there's no instant where it turns a red feather into a gold feather, but because it's possible to do that. Ah, uh, can't go in there yet. Unless you moon jump. Unless you moon jump. If you moon jump, you can actually get in there. Oh. That's actually my favorite part in uh, the sequel. Actually, I need to play the sequel, like, as soon as I finish this game, I need to start playing Banjo too. Because that is, that is, that is a uh, huge improvement off this game. And that's saying a lot, because this game was perfect enough as it was. And it isn't like, uh, when something like, uh, well, I don't know, something, something tried to build off its first game and it wasn't as good. Right, nuts and bolts. I'm, I'm gonna be serious though, Nuts and Bolts was really, actually it's a pretty good game, I don't see what the big deal with that game is. Like, I see what they're getting at, it is indeed a horrible idea for a game, but they did a good job with what they were trying. Uh, anything back here? Nope. I'll do it right now. Why not? <laughs> Bear jungle on our fats got big teeth too. Her, her. I, I didn't read very well. Both of them. Now the rest of the f of the musical notes, if I'm correct, are in the water. And if you haven't noticed yet, the walrus can actually walk in the water without getting hurt. Because the walrus doesn't swim. Because the transformations don't swim when they get liquid. So, uh, he actually, uh, can get in there. Because it's basically how it works in the programming. Is, uh, is if you start swimming, you'll get hurt in this level. And he's not swimming because... Yeah. Also, there's a hollow honeycomb that I want to get. Also, it's the walrus. I just want to get everything as the walrus. I just want to play this whole fucking game as the walrus. No, I know the, uh, the tree doesn't have anything. I don't think you can even get the tree as the walrus, I'm not sure. Present back here is the There's a mobile token. Right there, there it is. I see it. It's really hard to see. It blends in so perfectly. It's like. Why they put it there. There it is. Here. Is 
disgusting sound when he lands. So I say that. He is a walrus. He's eats quite a bit. Wow, another walrus. Take this, but watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Okay. <laughs> If you go in here, there's also a hollow honeycomb you can get. I'm just gonna get that before I end the episode. With a big bang. Oh, look at this cave. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around my Walrus cave. Crap, I should've just like gave like his British voice and give him like a monocle in like the editing. That would've been beautiful. Although, like, I've discovered that whenever I plan on editing something into the LP, I almost never get around to it. There's an extra life back there. Ouch. Worth it. Totally worth it. Also, one time I, uh, like, I, I was using my moon jump, and I actually got into here as Banjo. Pretty useless. <laughs> I killed the ice cube and got one health. Then again, it was useless. Also, like I said earlier, there's a part where, uh, I'll show it later through this banjo. So I'll come back in here in a later episode. I will see you guys in the next one, where we will, uh, do the rest of the stuff as a walrus, and then finish this level up as Banjo and Kazooie and leave. And then, yeah, see you then.